the last year, it's been a, a really amazing year with four new drugs for acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, Mitostorin, the first FLT3 inhibitor, uh, was approved in combination with chemotherapy. So that's become our standard of care. Uh, the study was done, the Ratify study, that is, was done in patients under 60, but the label was age agnostic. So for the appropriate patient, uh, we're giving Mitostorin in uh, patients that are uh, newly diagnosed with FLT3 uh, mutations, uh, both during induction as well as consolidation. Uh, Vexios was FDA approved for patients uh, with secondary or therapy-related AML or patients with AML with MDS-related changes. Uh, even though the study was done only in patients over 60, the label was agnostic to age as well. Uh, so we've been using this in our patients with secondary and therapy-related AML, mostly in patients over 60, uh, but we've, we've you know, extended it to some patients under 60 as our standard of care. Uh, Mylotard, uh, a drug that was approved a decade and a half ago and then removed and now back again, uh, that's an interesting uh, uh, molecule where uh, with fractionated lower dosing, it was shown to improve event-free survival uh, in, in patients between ages 50 and 70 based on the French Alpha trial. So for uh, in our uh, institution, we're mirroring the trial. So for patients who would have been eligible for the Alpha between ages 50 and 70, we're including uh, uh, or adding gemtuzumab or mylotarg to standard 3 and 7. And then another uh, subset of patients, those with core binding factor, uh, which came across in all of the studies as being uh, the, the event-free and overall survival being improved with, uh, with the addition of gemtuzumab. So regardless of age, we're using it there. And then finally, the fourth drug is enosidinib. Now that was approved in patients with IDH2 mutations in the relapse refractory setting, and, and that's predominantly where we're using it. Uh, there are ongoing trials uh, in newly diagnosed patients uh, in combination with chemotherapy, uh, standard induction, or hypomethylene agents, but those are clinical trials. So for uh, the uh, standard uh, you know, uh, commercial supply, we're using it in relapse refractory IDH2 mutants.